Hello, I'm Atuba Judge and welcome to the month of December. Now, God is doing a work in our lives. And listen, 2022 was a great year. It doesn't matter what you think from God's angle, from the plan of God, it was a great year. Now, you know the truth about life. Life starts from the spiritual before you see it manifested in the physical. Now, hear me. You may be there looking and saying, oh, what has the year been? Has it been a good year for you? I'm telling you the truth. On God's side, it has been a good year. Now, it will be a good year if you side with God. So now we have just one month to the end of the year. And the question I want to ask you today is, whose side are you on? But trust me, if you will switch sides today and walk on God's side, then you will see indeed that this month of December is going to be a crowning of wonderful things in your life. Praise God. Now, before we go into today's broadcast, because I have lots in my spirit that I want to share with you. Can we call for that daily bread? Now, today is the first of the month. So listen, when we call for that daily bread, release your faith to call in everything. <laughs> Praise God. Are you ready? Join me right now and declare this. Say, Father, I demand right now my daily bread. It is coming to me right now in Jesus' name. I receive all the supplies for the month of December. Not one day shall fail. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Now, this, the, the word of the Lord came to me concerning the month of December. And the Lord said, I should tell you that the month of December is going to be a month of peace. Wonderful. You know, when the Lord told me the month of peace, I was like, okay, <laughs> because the Lord has been talking about a lot. And more of the month of November, the Lord was correcting and rebuking even the church. So when the Lord says, look, the month of November, the month of December is going to be a month of peace. I was like, okay, you know, okay, so you're done vexing for us, praise God. Now, understand this. Our Father is a loving Father. But you see, you will see and understand His love when you walk closely with Him. Now, for example, today we have the prayer watch going on right now and i will encourage you to join the next watch we pray at every watch for about 40 50 minutes at every watch so right now as you're watching me plan to join the next watch the zoom link is on your screen so uh, you can connect with us join the prayer meeting pray along with us and then also tomorrow which is the second we are starting something out now I'm, I'm telling you you need to plan for this the lord has commanded us to pray for our nation and this prayer is going to be on 24 hours seven days a week now listen god is about to bring forth a manifestation of his visitation in nigeria and based on that, he's commanded us to do this. Now, there are some things I, I, I shared with them, even in, during our prayer meetings, which I may not be able to say publicly because they might be too sensitive. You see, there are things we're led to say in the prayer meeting because we are going to pray and deal with it. Other than that, sharing it in a different forum might just make no real sense spiritually i mean so there are things you may know but you, you're not at liberty to share but in a prayer meeting it comes forth expressly because now in everyone is in the mood of prayers 
Now, when we begin to pray from tomorrow, the Spirit of God is going to be guiding our hearts. And I'm telling you this truth. If you're listening to me, join, please plan, sign up, choose your hour of prayer. And let's pray and bring to pass God's divine purpose for our nation, Nigeria. Trust me, God is not a politician. So he's not doing things because he's a politician or he's siding your party. This has nothing to do with any party. This has everything to do with God's divine purpose. Because sometimes, even as God's children, you know, we do this thing. Okay, it's time for election. And this one is saying, this is my party's candidate. This is my party's candidate. Hey, have you asked God what is God's mind? Or you think God is not concerned about who leads our nation? Listen, 2023 is going to be a real determining factor of Nigeria's destiny. If it's going to continue in God's path, or we are going to fully take it out of God's hand to do things by ourselves. This is not a human being, a human election alone. God is fully concerned about what happens or who takes over the reign of authority in Nigeria next year. God is fully concerned. So if you belong to God, you should be concerned also. And how do you show concern? You ask the Lord, Lord, what do you want me to do? What do you want us to do? And God begins to give you instruction. I was telling them in our prayer meeting, I said, listen, this is not time to talk about PVC yet. I mean, right now, this is time to talk about the will. Who, who does God want to rule this nation next? Who does God want? I remember talking to the Lord and the Lord said to me, he said, listen, <laughs> You know, he said, he asked me a question. He says, was Jonathan Saul's son wiser than your people? I was like, okay. And the Lord said, Jonathan was the crown prince. David was a nobody. He was a palace boy. And Jonathan saw David, recognized the anointing upon his life. And he came to him and said, you will be king. The Bible said he made a covenant with him. You will be king and I'll be next to you. How can a crown prince be making a covenant with a palace boy? Are you understanding what I'm saying? Not just that Jonathan was a crown prince. He was intelligent. He was a man of war. He saved Israel from you. He, he, he gained victory for Israel. Numerous times, he was a man of war. So he was trained. He could easily have been, I mean, be prepared for leadership. But he made a covenant with this boy, David, because of the anointing he perceived was on David's life. And we live in a generation that we think we know better. And we cannot perceive that the hand of God is on this person. Now, we go beyond the realm of perception to the realm of knowing. So we can ask the Lord and he will give us witness in our heart and tell us, this is who I have chosen. And I tell you the truth, by God, things are about to change. Don't be moved by what you see today. But you see, that's why the Lord is calling us to the place of prayer. If you are an intercessor, if the Lord has put the burden of this nation in your heart, even if you don't feel that burden, but you just know that things ought to be right, then join, register, choose your hour of prayer, and let's begin to pray for Nigeria. We are going to pray until things begin to change. This is our time, and we're not leaving it in the hands of politicians. This is our time. We're not leaving it in the hands of those that we do not trust because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And God is the one who gives authority to men. Then we must be sure the authority is given to the right person. And this is the truth. It doesn't even have to be among the people that we see their faces today. It doesn't take anything for God to change everything. 
that when you come before the Lord, you don't come with him with an option. You come before him to know what is on his mind. And when he shows you what is on his mind, you align with it. And the Lord told me, when we begin to pray, he will start a walk in our hearts. You see, that's where the walk starts from. He will start to walk in our hearts. And from our hearts, the light will shine in the nation. And the whole nation will be flooded with light. Nigeria is a blessed country. It doesn't matter what anybody say. It doesn't matter how men have tried to destroy this nation. It's still a great nation. So I'll tell you today, this 1st of December, this is my advice to you. Join the prayer meeting. Plan for it. This is the will of God. This is the mind of God. Let's pray and change things. Prayer works. Prayer works. I know prayer works. Praise God. And prayer is going to work over Nigeria. Praise God. Now I'll show you scripture in Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3. Isaiah 26 and verse 3. It says, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Praise God. That's a scripture for the month. He will keep you in perfect peace. You know why? Because your mind is stayed on him because we trust in him. It is God's responsibility to keep us in perfect peace. And he keeps us in perfect peace because our mind is stayed on him. Praise God. Now, what does it take to keep your mind stayed on God? It simply means meditating on his word. He told Joshua, this book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate there in day and night so that you will observe to do according to all that is written in it. Saying, so doing so, you will make your way prosperous. You will have good success. See that? Now he says, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now when he says he will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him, he is talking about the one who submits his mind to, the, to be led by the Spirit of God. When that is your culture, naturally, you will be the one who meditates on the Word of God. Meditating on the Word of God is not by carrying the Bible and say, Psalm 23, Lord is my shepherd, I shall know what. No, recitation is not meditation. Meditation is your thinking on the meaning of that word, and then it begins to make sense to you. And then by the sense it's making to you, you begin to make decisions. Now you see, those decisions you start making is what will make your way prosperous. For example, you like to borrow money. You like to beg people for money. And then you begin to study the scriptures. And then you begin to see the Lord is my shepherd. And then you say, if the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Why then do I borrow money everywhere? Why then do I beg people for money as though I don't have a shepherd? But the Lord is my shepherd. See that? What are you doing? You're meditating on the word of God. The Lord is my shepherd. Lord, are you really my shepherd? If you are my shepherd, why, why is my life this way? See? Good question. Then you get to that place where you say, you know what? I'm going to take this word for what it is. From today, I will never beg again. From today, I will never borrow money from anybody. Let me prove indeed that the Lord is my shepherd. It doesn't mean the need will stop automatically. It doesn't mean you will receive a million bucks in the next minute. But what it means is now you have made a decision and that decision is the decision that will make your way prosperous. See, now because the moment you shut your mind from the things you used to do before, borrowing, begging, the moment you shut that angle that this doesn't exist anymore, then your eyes will be open to see the provision that God has made. 
Because as for God, he is faithful. He never abandons you. He never forsakes you. But the problem most times is we take the easy way out. When you shut that easy way out and focus on him, guess what? Then he begins to lead you. He tells you, turn left. You turn right, left. You say, oh, hey, you meet somebody. I, I've been looking for you. See, there's this business I said I'm going to you know, share you know, with you. So we do it together. I said, really? Yeah, I've been looking for you. Oh, okay, what's it? Can you handle it? Oh, yeah, I can handle it. Okay, let's sign the papers. Let's go ahead and do it. And then God begins to provide for you. God can send somebody to you with that money you were thinking of borrowing previously. Someone can just walk up to you and say, the Lord asked me to give you this. Oh, it happens time and time again to many of God's children. You are the next in line. Praise God. My time is up for today. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited because God says a month of peace. But you know what? Let's make it indeed a month of peace. By doing what? Hooking up our minds and keeping it on. Him. Has God told you to do something? Quickly get up and do it. Don't waste a minute. Have God commanded you concerning anything? It's time to get up and fulfill that command. Praise God. Like I told you earlier, join the next prayer watch and let's, let's just set the tone of December right. God bless you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. In December, you shall know peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye.